two, one, space in your face. Hey everyone, I'm Paul Sutter. And I'm Wayne Schlingman. Hey Paul. I thought I fired you. Well, you tried, but it didn't work. I'll get you next time, Schlingman. That's fine, but what's in your face this week? <laughs> okay, since you're here, I might as well answer. All right. It is cosmic neutrinos. What Whatever is a neutrino? That is. A neutrino. What is a neutrino? What is a neutrino? A neutrino is a teensy weensy little tiny particle. So it's kind of like a ladybug. Even smaller than a ladybug. Okay, so smaller than a ladybug. Okay, zipping across the universe at close to the speed of light. Okay, that's pretty fast, right? Really, really fast. Okay, what's the speed made... limit to the universe? The speed of light. Okay, so they're almost speeding. Like that, like that close to okay, it, okay. right? And they're generated by like supermassive black holes. They're generated by stars blowing up. Okay, all so sorts of cool stuff. Big cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they hardly interact with normal stuff. Okay. Like they can just pass through the Earth without touching anything. They can even pass through your head. How as many thick are passing as it is, through us right now? Like 60 billion every second through your thumbnail. 60 billion. Wow. 60 billion. That's not very 60 big. Billion. 60, billion. 60 billion. Yeah, a lot of neutrinos. So huh. we need a big detector if okay. we want to see them. So how do we detect them? How do we see these things? How about Antarctica? Okay. Why Antarctica? That's it. That's it. We're going to use Antarctica as a detector. Okay, well, that's big. But that's what about whole, Antarctica yeah. allows us to detect them if they it's oh, made just pass through of stuff. pure water ice. Okay. And it's big enough, you can use a big enough chunk of Antarctica that every once in a while one of these 60 billion neutrinos actually hits something. Okay. It hit, hits a now, what water happens molecule. When it hits it? It, uh, something happens, <laughs> an interaction happens, and a little extra particle called a muon is created. And okay. that muon slams through the ice and actually glows as it's traveling through the ice. That sounds kind of And awesome. we can see the flash. Okay. And so they did it and they can see, this is the ice cube detector in, New in Antarctica, and they can actually see these things. It's about love.